Hi friends, welcome to Jyoti IT Solutions. I am Jyoti. In this video, I am showing to how to install the Docker on on the system. For that, I am taking AWS instance. I will take one Ubuntu instance. Before that, I will give some information about the Docker. That is what Docker concepts. Docker is a platform for developers on system admins to build, run and share applications with containers. The use of containers to deploy applications is called containerization. Containerization is increasingly popular because containers are flexible. Even the most complex applications can be containerized lightweight. Containers leverage and share the host kernel, making them much more efficient in terms of system resources than virtual missions. Portable. You can build locally, deploy to the cloud and run anywhere. Loosely coupled. Containers are highly self-sufficient and encapsulated, allowing you to replace or upgrade one without disturbing others scalable you can increase and automatically distribute containers replicas across a data center secure containers apply aggressive constraints and isolations to possessive without any configuration required on the part of the user because of docker is popular one more time, we will, we will know about the images and containers. Fundamentally, a container is nothing but a running process. With some added encapsulation features applied to it in order to keep it isolated from the host and from other containers. One of the most important aspects of container isolation is that each container interacts with its own private file system. This file system is provided by a docker engine um, An image includes everything needed to run an application. The code or binary and runtimes, dependencies and any other file system objects required containers and virtual machines mm, i may know the difference between containers and virtual machines a container runs natively on linux and shares the kernel of the host mission with other containers it runs a discrete process taking no more memory than any other executable Mm, it will make lightweight by contrast a virtual machine runs a full-blown guest operating system with virtual access to host resources through a hypervisor in general vms incur a lot of overhead beyond what is being consumed by you application logic is the main difference between containers and vms uh, next thing is containerized development environments you need to know about this also these containerized development environments are easier to set up than traditional development environments this is because a containerized development environment will isolate all the dependencies your app needs inside your docker image there is no need to install anything other than docker on your development mission in this way you can easily develop applications for different stacks without changing anything on your development mission what are the supported platforms for docker docker engine is available on a variety of linux support platforms mac os 
and Windows 10 through Docker desktop and as a static binary installation. Now, let us see what are the prerequisites for installing Docker engine. Before installing Docker engine on any uh, flavor of systems, prerequisites are OSC requirements or to install a Docker engine. You need the 64-bit version of one of the Ubuntu or if you are using Ubuntu systems, Ubuntu versions and uh, if you are CentOS, so CentOS, um, CentOS versions like this. Um, now I am going to install um, Docker on Ubuntu systems. The Ubuntu systems prerequisites are Ubuntu E on 19.10, Ubuntu Bionic 18.04 LTS, Ubuntu Xenial 16.0 LTS. Docker engine is supported on x86 64 bit. AMHF ARM64 S39390X IBM Jet Systems uh, IBM Jet Beats and uh, PPC64 LA IBM Power Systems are okay. game and uh, these architectures need um, we should know about these uh, pre requests before installing the Docker engine on a instance. Oh, let us move to installing docker how to install the docker for this i am taking the one ubuntu system iws has provided a free free tire instances for our practice purpose we will three take free tire as ubuntu server mm, this one is enough for uh, work with docker 18.04 lts it's providing abs general purpose accessory um, it's fine um, for this we'll take 64 bit also is supporting then i will select then uh, i will take general purpose t2 micro only is enough uh, then uh, next section is a configure instance details mm, this uh, number of instances one is enough right now then i will leave these default settings here then add storage add storage ubuntu is uh, uh, aws is provided for ubuntu system 8 gb ssd general purpose volume uh, so this also is enough and a tag you will give the uh, tag for the system i will give docker name here then configure settings i already having i already having a having an existing security group i will take that existing security group i will check it i will select that one and i will launch the instance then it will ask key pair i am having all um, already one key pair that i will select in this way also you can create a aws wood instance i will select this particular instance it's running initializing then it's a game up we will install it in this system on uh, the docker it, it will take few seconds wait for that i will copy the public id public ip then i will go to put a tool and i will give the i will paste here i will select a ssh auth then browse i will select my ansible key here then i will open my command line interface the 
first time it will ask security alert give the yes aws is provided for this particular ubuntu systems ubuntu is username ubuntu then we can get the prompt okay ubuntu repo package is apt first we will update the repo for this sudo apt update command i will provide for this instance update hyphen y enter it will take some few seconds to install packages you are completed no problem 10 packages can be updated 18 packages no need to worry about that already building dependency tree also created now we will install docker on directly for this we are having different types we can install the docker on the systems what are those there are different types of installations engines is available oh, depending on your needs most users set up a docker repositories and install from them for easy of installation and upgrade tasks this is recommended approach some users download the db deep package and uh, install it manually and manage upgrades completely manual um, completely manually this is useful in situations such as installing docker on air gapped systems with no access to the internet in testing and development environments some users choose to use automated convenience scripts to install docker i am going to directly uh, I will install the docker aws is provided docker packages with the instances i will give the command sudo apt get is the repository command then install docker dot evo is the package name then hyphen y it will install a docker it will take few seconds wait for that yeah it's also completed docker is installed you can see here adding a docker group a group docker Uh, for this system docker group is uh, docker a uh, docker is a group is created and added now let's see docker version docker version this command is showing client version only i said before my video Oh, there are three components is there in docker one is client and docker host and third one is docker repository client is using for um, giving the commands oh, we will work on client side um, it will connect to um, connect to docker daemon and uh, do, uh, docker st uh, docker stories is docker register docker registry will register, uh, store the images on the docker registry docker host contains docker images and docker containers or uh, as well as docker demons oh uh, this docker version is showing only client version only client version is 19.0.3 api version and go version docker is developed by go language 
we uh, saw that docker version also is showing here git commit uh, git commit when the commit um, commit id also is providing here and build date under time when this uh, docker you know, was built uh, that time is provided os architecture linux amd64 uh, experimental walls and other information also is showing in this information is got permission denied while trying to connect to the docker daemon socket socket can uh, it is telling them socket socket, uh, socket connection is disabled we need to give the permissions to uh, this particular file uh, then we can get the connection between client and docker host before that we'll run the one more command docker hyphen version what if we show we'll see oh, number of parameters is showing this system this command this syntax is docker help also is a man pages command docker options a command that is a command and other flags management commands also is showing number of management commands is came on the docker <coughs> these all are the commands related to docker these are our most of the commands on linux commands only then i will uh, give the permissions to that uh, docker socket file so then i will go docker version docker so file i will see here one more time where run docker dot sock i will give the direct command um trouble seven before that i will give the hyphen upper case or for recursive files then file name i will provide where run docker dot sock is the file enter it will show the operation is not permitted we need to give the sudo permissions before this command then permission system you can see where on docker so permissions triple seven permissions is provided to, to this particular file and as for as showing is socket file i will clear the screen then docker version if i provide this syntax docker version it will show the client and as well as uh, docker host version and other information enter you can see client version this client version already we you know oh, then server side information also is provided server also same version is there 19.3.6 then api version go version all are same then built data time no need to that uh, then version ubuntu system version git commit run c commands docker init docker and other information is providing this system then one more command is docker info it will give more information about the docker you can see this here i provided a docker info here client debug mode false other server related information is provided by this uh, syntax what is that we see here containers zero 
అండ్ రన్నింగ్ కంటైనర్స్ జీరో పాసర్ కంటైనర్స్ జీరో స్టాపర్ కంటైనర్స్ జీరో ఇమేజెస్ ఆల్సో జీరో వాట్ దిస్ మీనింగ్ ఈజ్ వీ డి నాట్ క్రియేట్ ఎనీ ఇమేజ్ వీ డి డెంట్ క్రియేట్ ఎనీ కంటైనర్ వీ డి నాట్ రన్ ఎనీ కంటైనర్స్ రైట్ దెన్ సర్వర్ వర్షన్ స్టోరేజ్ డ్రైవర్స్ వీ కెన్ సి ఇన్ దిస్ కమెంట్ ఓవర్ లే టూ ఈజ్ అసైన్ టు దిస్ సిస్టమ్ దెన్ బేకింగ్ ఫాల్ సిస్టమ్ ఎక్సెప్ ఈఎక్స్టిఎఫ్ఎస్ అన్ సపోర్టెడ్ దెన్ లాగింగ్ డ్రైవర్ ఆల్సో ఇంపార్టెంట్ జిసన్ హైఫన్ ఫైల్ ఈజ్ దే విల్ ఎడిట్ దిస్ ఫైల్ ఇన్ కమింగ్ వీడియోస్ సి గ్రూప్స్ సి గ్రూప్స్ ఆల్సో ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ లేటర్ ప్లగిన్స్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ప్లగిన్స్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ ఫర్ దిస్ and the swam information and container diversion other information architecture information and the total men- memory how much is there and the cpus one cpu architecture kernel version everything is showing in this command every time we need to give the sudo command before um, executed any docker commands i don't like um, every time giving the sudo command for this we can a uh, docker is containing a mechanism that is i will add docker uh, my username to docker group then i will um, get a uh, without sudo permissions i can run the commands docker commands and then sudo యూజర్ మోడ్ హైఫన్ ఏ ఫోర్ యాడ్ స్మాల్ ఏ హైఫన్ అప్పర్ కేస్ జి ఫర్ గ్రూప్ క్లియర్ ద స్క్రీన్ ఫస్ట్ సోడో యూజర్ మోడ్ ఫన్ ఏ ఫర్ యాడ్ ద గ్రూప్ దెన్ గ్రూప్ నేమ్ డాకర్ ఐ షోడ్ ఆల్రెడీ ఇన్ ద ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ దెన్ యూజర్ డాలర్ యూజర్ ఐ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ ద వేరియబుల్ ఇట్ విల్ యాడ్ ద యూజర్ టు డాకర్ గ్రూప్ దెన్ ఓ నో నీడ్ టు గివ్ ద సుడో పర్మిషన్స్ ఫర్ ఎనీ comments this is regarding the docker installation next video we will see the how to create images and how to run the containers under related syntaxes till then bye bye and take care and if further notifications subscribe my channel if any queries comment it thank you very much